the lights, the liner, the rock, the way you see it installed, even, I'll even throw in the fake plants for three to eight hundred dollars. Right? We offer an incredible amount of tools to not only install but maintain water features. Pretty awesome, huh? What's up, Greg? <laughs> Keith. Okay, so I'm having a blast here at the yeah. Aquascape Academy. Thank you so much. I'm learning a ton. And how to play volleyball. <laughs> yes, that was fun. <laughs> yes, glad you and did it. I'm super impressed by, so I've never been here before. Yeah. And for you guys watching right now, uh, my experience is, this is like the whole enchilada. It's not just how to build a pond or a water feature. It's in almost like an entire turnkey system of everything that you've done from all your trials and failures yep. and everything. Yep. You've built an entire systematized process of how to do this. Can you talk about that? Like, what would somebody coming in brand new? Sure. What, well, I what, think, you what know. What do they get? What do they take? What's the big takeaway? Sure. Well, first of all, whether it's patios or ponds or landscaping or whatever it is, it's business, right? So we do a lot of just generic business principles from sales and marketing and accounting. Um, so it's a, it's a general business, you know, course that we're doing. But specifically, and how I actually make money, is teaching other people how to make money installing water features which I've been doing since I was a 12 year old kid and since uh, 1991 professionally and we're still doing today. We're actually the only manufacturer in the world of decorative water features that builds and maintains water features every single day. In Pennsylvania, where it's all lead stone, it does not take more than an hour to dig this in, okay? Make sense to everybody? And if, and if you're calling BS on me, fly me out and I will show you, I promise. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, field trips. Right? So, digging happens. When digging, uh, there's a couple things you need to consider. If you are doing the spillway bowls, okay, we keep all that soil on site, like right adjacent to the hole to which we dug, right? Because we're actually going to use that soil to create a berm. Does everybody know what a berm is? I don't know what else to call it other than a mound of dirt, right? But it's a berm. It's an area for us to support the backside of the spillway bowl and also create areas for planting to help naturalize the architectural features that are, that are the fountainscapes. Does that make sense to everybody? So the equipment that we are building are things that I patented and things that our company has created to make the consumer's experience with water features better. And specifically as it comes to professional contractors, how to build water features efficiently and therefore profitably. You know, our motto is uh, ponds done right, customers served right. And the goal with that is a beautiful, low maintenance and enjoyable water feature. And if you're a contractor, a beautiful, low maintenance and profitable water feature. So the Aquascape Academy um, is really the offshoot of uh, our training. It's kind of a, a winter thing. We do it in you know November, December, January, February, March, April. You're in the April one. Um, and the goal of it is always to bring in people that maybe are afraid of water features or haven't done many water features or they have done a lot of water features but they want to get their crews better more efficient so we give them a 20 product and 20 step process to build water features we start off with fountainscapes which is kind of we call elementary school so what's interesting to me is that he's saying that you can do this out of the back of your pickup truck you don't need any big equipment because you're not dealing with big stuff or big boulders or anything this is sweet dude like I'm like, like my wheels are spinning. Um, so the way we handle that um, is we have electricians that we use and trust um, and, and there's about a half a dozen that we can call. Um, but what we, here's how we would handle it. We'll say, we'll dig the trench for you. We'll even bury whatever conduit you have. You have all the conduit on site. Whatever diameter pipe you need, I don't care. We'll dig the trench. We're already there. And if, and if it's 400 feet, 
something you charge for, okay? But we'll do the digging. We'll do all that hard work for you, but we are not pulling wire. We are not, we are not hooking up outlets. We're not tapping into the, to the, to the box in the house. We're not doing any of that. Why? Because we're pond builders. We're not electricians, right? So I'm more than happy to do all that heavy lifting for the electrician. And the reason I like that is because, A, my electrician is happy, and, B, I can get the electric ran exactly where I want it. Not where an electrician thinks it needs to go. Up all over the rocks and everything, it destroys our pumps. It does, um, and, and our and our um, uh, and it makes our rocks look like crap. Uh, great question about the fill valve. Um, okay, so what Nick is doing right now is something that we do. You guys can all see he laid out a piece of scrap liner. This one's like a seven by seven and a half by five. It was some leftover stuff we had in our back area. Um, when I say $150 additional cost, that's roughly a 10 by 10 piece of line. Okay? The reason he is installing that over, you have to understand how the water is going to come off of some of these fountainscapes so that you know that you're going to have to catch some of this. So what he's doing is more of a preventative measure to help dial more of that water back into the reservoir rather than losing it outside of the aqua basin. Does that make sense to everybody? So, so what he did is he cut a hole. It's a pretty good circle. It's more of an ellipse, but um, that's okay. He's learning. Um, sharp blade. It, sharp but, blade. Got away from me. Yeah. But notice how it's bigger than the footprint of the bottom of the sphere. We start off with fountainscapes, which is kind of what we call elementary school. We move on to pondless waterfalls, which we call junior high. And we finally finish at ponds, which we would call, with ecology, we would call high school level. And you don't want to go from addition and subtraction elementary school level to uh, calculus high school level with ponds until you've kind of mastered addition and subtraction and multiplication in junior high, which is pondless, fountainscapes and then pondless and ponds. So that's kind of the analogy that we like to use. Uh, cut out here and a cut out here. And then the piece that goes on top has he, have these little knobs right there. Come on, Flavio, help me out. There you go. There you go, right? And they're on adjacent sides, right, one and two. They slide down, and then you'll give it just a quick little turn, right, and they lock in. So what Nick is doing right now is he is installing a core light on top of the poly tubing, OK? That's what comes with it. This comes with it, right? But again, we add lights to our installed Fountainscapes. Okay. So, what Nick did is he is he sure, because that won't plug that core light plug in there back the into the top time. of the tubing. Now he's going to feed the tubing as well as the light cord down through the top of the hole. I'm going to pull this up here so everybody can see. This. Sorry. You're on a TV show. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So does. Can everybody see what's happening here? Yes. Good. So we're just going to pull that through. Keep going. Oh, hang on. There it is. Pondless and ponds. So that's kind of the analogy that we like to use. And uh, we have been doing this for 28 years as a profession. I've been doing it for 37 years as a hobbyist. And I think my driving motivation in life is to help people succeed. And our business philosophy is help people succeed at building, selling, and retailing water features. That was a great answer. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, a little long-winded. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? So, all I'm going to do, through right there, and Nick's going to feed that through. So now, uh, you got it? Nice. All right, so that's just nice and gentle for two seconds. That sphere, We're just going to lock that in. So, in our area, it's... So, we're just going to make this uh, connection here, guys. Okay. In, our, in our area, the winterized... I wish Fabio could see that. ...large yeah. aqua basins, all we that's simply do... Fun. Yep, that's the pump. The, so, uh, like, the, pump pull the, pump the way the pump comes, the you can leave the water in there, you don't have to drain the out of the box. Like that. Customers do leave their pumps in. I do, but I'm lazy, right? You're much better off pulling that pump inside. Tavi, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I'll go with the tactical answer. The basins are rotor molded for us here in this area, so they are US produced. We like you to leave water in them to help prevent frost heat. The other thing is, if you're going to pull your pump out for winter, when you see the plumbing so connection, this is how your pump will come out really of the box, nice right? Elbow that makes just connecting it convenient. You have this mail to mail threaded. That just threads in the top of the pump there. Come spring, it's ready.
Yesterday in the sandbox, yeah, there was a training where I learned how to put together a simple water feature. Yeah, fountainscape. Yep. And when I looked at it, I'm like, dude, well, I'm honestly actually considering doing this because <laughs> I've never been trying to get you to do it. Like, yeah, now you see, you're seeing the light a little bit, huh? Well, it seems like um, like I'd be stupid to not give it a shot. <laughs> Yeah. Because I have a whole list of clientele, and if you guys have a, an existing clientele, I'm like, wait a second, 3500 bucks. What's the math on it? So that, you know, depending on what fountainscape you pick, it's going to be between $1,100 and $1,500, and um, you'll sell it between three and $4,000. So you should be able to clear 1500 to $2,200 with two guys in a half a day. That's awesome. And... And get a happy customer, you know, even more importantly, as long as the customers are happy, because people will, all day long, they'll buy these things for three or four thousand bucks. And what else can you put in with two guys that's three or four thousand dollars and you'll, you'll make 60% gross profit margin on and do it in a half a day. All right, Greg, this, yes. is, this is awesome. I'm totally inspired that you put together these hands-on trainings. Yeah. And can you give like the thousand foot view of what this is about in your... Well, all of these people here, yeah. some of them are certified contractors, um, most of them are newer guys, and uh, what our goal is is to demystify construction. So when I walked up to you and you said, oh, my mind is blown, I didn't know it was so easy, you actually physically do it. So there's a few guys working in, they'll rotate out, a few more guys will come in, they got a closed caption TV in there, they have close-ups, but like um, I was talking to uh, our buddy, uh, Brian at B&B Lawn Care, yeah. and he's like, I don't know how to do the plumbing. I'm like, dude, it's like three minutes. You took it to pump and you put it on the other side and you're done. But that one thing was stopping him from adding water features. So he's a, he's a mow and blow guy, right? And I said, that's great, you can stay that, but you should add water features to Mrs. Jones or Mr. Smith or whatever, and then you can either cut 97 more lawns that week or put in one water feature and make the same profit. So something like that costs how much? The cost, the install price, and the profit margin? Uh, uh, like this is the new spears that they're putting in. I think all in, that's like 1200 bucks wholesale cost on it, and it sells for around 3500 bucks. It'll take two guys, two hours, so four man hours to put in. And uh, you'll you'll walk away with eighteen hundred uh, you know bucks or so profit after two hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, so the lowest profit thing that we do is just the basic maintenance. Sure. Um, I, I see it as a commoditized. Yeah, more. it's hard to differentiate yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then so. Do you start out by doing just this simple one little water feature, and after you do a few of those, then you start showing your customers a variety, then you work your way up little by little? Well, unfortunately, what happens is, or fortunately, whatever, is sometimes you might show a customer a small water feature and they want a big one, but you might not have the capability yet to do that, and that's where you reach into the Certified Aquacy of Contour Network. And so you can tap into guys who are in your marketplace or even out of your marketplace that will come in and they could actually train you and work with you, which is a very unusual business model because that in the competitive cutthroat landscaping businesses, this really doesn't exist. But what the certified aquascape contractors know is ponds done right, customer serve right will be a rising tide that lifts all ships. So I would way rather have a pond contractor on the other side of town that's a certified aquascape contractor versus a, a fly-by-night guy that might charge half of what I would charge and not give the customer a good experience. And so then that customer will tell 10 or 15 of their customer friends that won't want a water feature because it was done wrong versus a good competitor that's pricing in the same area that you are and uh, is trained on properly installing a water feature that's way better for everybody. So a certified guy knows that and that's why all of our certified guys help other guys get into this marketplace because they want good competition instead of bad. I was on the phone last night with a buddy of mine, Jeff. Who's uh, Jeff Michaels. Who's a certified aquascape contractor. Good guy, yep. 
uh, for about 45 minutes. Uh huh. Uh, after I came here, I had a whole bunch of questions for him as well. He tied everything together, and I said, hey, if I get started out real small. But uh, I said, well, listen, I have a whole bunch of clients and people who are well to do yes. that would probably want this. This is, this can is the. We you can absolutely team up. Yep. And he said, yes. Amen. Because here's the thing. There is no competition when you think about it because 2% of the people have what we're installing. So why we, why do we talk about the crumb at the end of the table when there's a giant loaf in front of us? There's 98% of people in the marketplace that don't have this. And there's not a thousand pond contractors out there. Let's just service those 98% really well and there'll be more work than anybody can handle. They will accept that splash. They love that wet feet. And they end up just exploding all over this area. They'll migrate back into the landscape. And sometimes patience. You're getting We buy the cell packs, you know, the six, what are they, 48 cell packs, all of a sudden, sorry. <laughs> is he going, 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 we're just adding bells and whistles. Again, reminding you that it's an extra $300. We've got about $150 for the relay kit. We've got $150 for the 10x10 piece of lighting. Okay? I also charge you know, $3,800 for this install. Right? So I've got, what's the kit? The Stack Slate Spear Kit? It's uh, 13. You have, you have, what is it? Oh, it was here. 16, so you've got $1,900 in cost, okay? We've got eight hours of labor, and, and whatever that is for you, we charge $100 an hour for labor. That's not, well, we get, that's not our cost on it, right? Uh, but that allows us to maintain about a 65 to 70% profit margin, going about 3,800 bucks. And so we just build that cost into that 3,800 asset. Oh, and there'll be more sense. work than anybody can handle. Yeah. We give away, in Chicago, way, way more jobs than we pick on as our, for our own R&D construction crew. We can't nearly keep up. And Chicago, because we're here, is the number one place in all of the country, all of the world, for certified architecture leads because people know the Aquascape brand because we've been here for 28 years. What's the average size pond that people get and how much does it cost? Yeah. How long does it take to we like to We like to call it a, uh, the average, if you're just on a general size water feature, 11 foot by 16 foot with maybe a four to six foot stream and waterfalls, maybe two foot of elevation chain, high waterfall, not a five foot high waterfall. Do not give a that customer. That was the Logan Paul one? Yeah, that was about the Logan Paul. It was a little bit longer because yeah. we, we put those big fountains in at the end, but that was a two foot high waterfalls at Logan Paul's house. And, um, and that was probably a 20 by 25 foot pond, maybe 15 by 25 foot pond because we made those an area for the uh, fountainscapes. But um, a love my 16 foot pond would, would take 40 to 50 man hours to install typically with the, with the hand move rock uh, and would sell for anywhere from eight to $12,000 depending on the marketplace and options. So it's very similar, uh, a decorative water feature with your mechanical filtration, your biological filtration, pumps, plumbing, liner, rock work, stream, waterfalls is very similar price to a hot tub. Okay. Yeah. And then so 40 to 50 man hours would take a crew a day. So if it was a it was a if it was a five man, you know, four to five guys, 8 to 10 man hour day to to to, to knock out an 11 by 16 foot hand-sized rock pond. Now you could get, you know, bigger giant rocks that need to be moved with equipment and it might be a little bit longer and we would also charge maybe $16,000 for an 11 by 16 that got equipment involved. Uh, 11 by 16 pond is we pretty much do it by hand most of it we do, might have a small excavator there or a dingo but that's how i grew up doing doing a man doing a pond a day in 40 to 50 man hours with four or five guys a pond a day mm -hmm. day after day after day cardinals and blue jays and robins at my pond and then you invite them over to your house for a beer they see your pond you sell it and you're friends with them and that's just what makes this industry fun what do you say how about i come up to detroit and build your pond in your backyard with jeff michaels the wife and i right now we uh, just got approved for a house, and we're looking for houses right now. Excellent. So, so when you get when you guys close on a house, Jeff Michaels, my CAC up there, and I will come up maybe in the fall, maybe next spring, whenever it works, and we'll build a Aquascape ecosystem pond in your yard. And we will make amazing videos about it. Yes. And document the entire process. Love it. Deal. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Thank Good. you. I'm glad you finally made it down. I'm excited since we saw each other at the Logan Paul build. 
and uh, you're one of my you're one of my inspirations. When I first started my Greg What's Like the Pond Guy YouTube channel, you were one of the very first people I met with at the GIE show, and uh, you gave me all the advice you could, and, and and now I'm taking your advice, and it's fun to see things going full circle. Dude, dude, check out his channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. The Pond Guy. You guys are what ninety thousand subscribers? Yeah, about that, yeah. Beautiful. All right, thank you. Thank Bye. you, buddy. Chris Ostrander. This guy is awesome. <laughs> I just sat here and talked to him for like 20 minutes and learned a whole bunch of valuable business stuff. Thanks, I did man. too. Yeah. We're all in the same boat. All right, guys, I'm going in the cold plunge. I'm about to freeze my ass off. Whoa, this is freezing. Oh, shit. It's like ice. It's like. Yeah. So, there was over 500 people yeah. back then. 
you know, and then it kind of, you know, they had to crash the economy, yeah. people went different ways, and it dwindled down, and then I watched it regrow through the last Hey, this is beautiful, look at this. So, the Aquascape team, they go to Africa and they build rainwater harvesting systems so poor starving kids in Africa can have fresh clean water. I'm blown away. The highest level of evolution is contribution. I'll show you these pictures right now.